hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i thought i'd do a um try to do a quick summary uh, or update to my faith um planning um i have changed some things around in terms of my routine um i basically do the same things but i tend to switch things up to keep things interesting so let's um go ahead and start um, I will move these to the side just for now and let's start with this one. If you've seen this one before, this is from Print Prussians. I did a um, show this one before on my YouTube channel. What I have here is, and I've shown this before, this is my Faith uh, Sneaker Week. And so the way I use this is... Let me bring out my routine here. So this is kind of uh, just a written, a quick routine list that I have on acetate. And if I need to change it, I can. Um, and then once it becomes more final, I will type this up. So in my morning pages, um, which I, here, let me pull it to the side here. I use this for my morning pages. And the reason is part of my morning routine is because I like to uh, brain dump in the mornings. Um, and to me, that's my form of brain dumping is when I first wake up in the morning, you know, I, I do my routine and uh, take care of my pets, feed them, make my coffee, uh, put a load of laundry. I, I don't write that down because I, it's already routine for me. I clean the litter box because it's on the way, you know, it's in the basement. So it's on the way to my office. And so after I get all that done, so morning pages is instrumental for me. Um, in my morning pages, I write about everything and anything that's on my head and it's on, in my heart. And then I end it with a letter to the Lord. Um, and I always end it that way. Just, I'm just giving it to the Lord. Um, many people do that differently. Sometimes, you know, you stay, you have your quiet time and you just give it to the Lord or, um, however it works for you. I encourage you to do that. And then I just have quiet time. It's five minutes and I just put five, but it's however long it takes. If it's two minutes, a minute or five or longer, I put some worship music and then I just, just focus on worshiping the Lord. And then from there I go to my letters to the Lord. So this one I will not because I have not gone through uh, my prayers, but that's my first insert. Hold on, let me, <laughs> I'm trying to see. Um, so it's, it looks like this. So um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't always follow that. Monday, if I have an, a lot to write, I will take up two, two spaces. So I will wipe that out and then, you know, end it with a heart. That means that's one prayer. So sometimes, um, you know, if I skip a day, it, 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 I use this as I feel led. And um, this section here, it says week of, if I don't have anything specific, I might use that um, kind of as a reminder of my goals, but not really because I have it in other places. So I just may just put a decorative sticker there, but I have enough pages and I've shown this before for the rest of the year. And then I like, um, this is just my sermons. This is if, um, you know, um, I've been lately doing them in my whole Bonichi cousin and I'll show you. But if there's extra, um, other than the one a week that I do, then that will go in here. Um, but generally, I go into, after my letters to God, I go into my faith weeks. So I've been trying to find my rhythm. So this is this past week. And um, I, I'm following a Bible study from Heather Baxter. So every week she has, you know, a, a Bible study that we're focusing on. Um, it's monthly, but every week she has a theme. So the theme this past week was abide. So I had write the definition there. So I see it. And so I'm focusing on that. Plus I look at this front page here and then I kind of read my scriptures. Just, just a quick glance at my goals. And I tell, I, you know, that's kind of telling me how am I going to do that today or this week? So I wrote a scripture um, here and then I was, as I was doing my daily Bible studies, I would put like a theme of what I, you know, stood out in my head. 
Um, and then here I just wrote some thanking the Lord. Um, here I just wrote some affirmations. Here I just wrote a quick prayer. Um, I put a little daily intentions here just in case I wanted to keep kind of keep that separate. Um, so as I'm praying, I don't I don't write in here. If I don't feel led to, I I don't write because I don't want any to do anything in my own flesh. Uh, I really want to be led by the by the Lord. So here yesterday was be a doer of the word, not just a hearer. Today, um, what are my roles? I had a discussion with my husband or he had a discussion with me this morning and, you know, talking back and forth. I was praying as I was here by myself in Bible study. And then, you know, the Lord prompted me, what are my roles? I and and as a wife, as a mother, as a grandmother, as an employee, as a minister, as a friend. Um, those are my main hats that I wear on a day to day basis. So what are my focuses? So I look at my word and it's like, you know, in my heart, in my spirit, what is it that I need to focus on this week? So being present, you know, I'm more apt to kind of stay in my office and study and work, get my homeschool planning stuff. I mean, I can actually do everything I need to do in my office because it's just not a place for me to study is where I work. It's where I do my homeschooling. It's where I do my planning, my journaling. Everything is in my office. So it's very easy for me to just stay in here all day. Um, if I want to watch a show, I watch it on my phone. So if I watch YouTube, I do it on my phone. And so again, being present. So I want to make sure that this upcoming week that I spend time every day upstairs, at least for a little while, and do something meaningful and and an activity like today i went out walking with my daughter she wanted to go walking um we have a dead end street so we did that um make our house a home so as a wife and as a mother and as a grandmother because my my family visits i need to keep my home clutter free i've been saying that for the longest time and so this week is where I need to start, you know, just doing it and not to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours, although I could do that. Um, but focus every day in an area of my home and just declutter because before um, I want to do the, what do you call that? The um, or zone cleaning. Yeah. Play, play lady. That's what it is. Before I can focus that I need to declutter my home. So that is, um, something that I've now have in my planner. So that's that. And then, so this coming week, I started a devotion, but every week she has one theme, which is what I'm speaking every day, confession, and then a scripture. So um, here's the following Bible study, which is aware and is watchful, conscious, mindful. Remember, I'm mindful, so I'm mindful of being present every day for my family alive having realizations so just being sensitive to not only the the spirit of god but the needs of my family my needs and sometimes it's hard to balance all that but if i'm in the word and i'm following the word of god and i'm following his his voice you know then um as i'm spending time in bible study as i'm spending time in prayer and in the word and especially getting quiet so getting quiet for me is important so not only um talking and telling god my petitions but staying quiet and listening to what he has to say to me um that's a bible study that um i heard today um i'll i'll share it in a minute but um but anyway so my intentions i moved here because it just looks cleaner if I have anything that stands out in the day, whether that be from a, a Bible study um, that I'm doing or my daily scriptures, whatever it is that God's speaking to me, I can put it in, in the individual days. If I need more space, then I have this. If I have affirmations that I want to focus on, then that will be, um, you know, combating negative thinking is what I'm what I am giving to the Lord every day. And I just have a little post-it here to kind of remind me, you know, of different things that I want to put here, like God wink moments. Again, that was from that Bible study. Uh, I think it's called Northridge from Northridge Church. It's fully awake. It's like, I don't know how many weeks they taught on it, but I'm on week three. 
and um, documenting God wink moments when God speaks to you or, you know, on a daily basis. Um, listen and watch for those moments and document them. Affirmations, what is God speaking, my intentions, and then scripture memory. So, um, you know, I can focus on the scripture for the week. Another thing that I am wanting to um, uh, focus on are my affirmations. I spent some time yesterday um, and just, and actually, <laughs> I did this upside down. I could not believe it after... Um, I was done, I was looking at it and I was like, oh no, I did it upside down. But I just put a sticker on there and I just wrote affirmations. So <laughs> um, this is an index. This is just a happy planner sticker to let me know what's in here. Um, this is I Declare. And if you've seen any of my Faith Hobonichi Cousins or Weeks in the past, I have this in my monthly section. I rewrote all this and I spent time yesterday. It was very therapeutic for me. But this is what I want to focus on, the Word of God. And when my negative thinking comes in, which it does all day long, um, I, I have something quick to focus on, the Word of God. So I have 10, 12 power thoughts. This is from Joyce Meyer, um, from her book, Affirmations to Overcome Anxiety, Faith Affirmations for Anxiety. And they're all kind of the same and sometimes worded differently. Who I am in Christ since um, I've been a Christian. That's been over over twenty years. This this has been my my go to is the importance of who we are in Christ and the authority we have in Christ. So I wrote all those out. And if you notice, each section has their own washi. So I know when it you know section ends and then a new one starts. Forty scriptures to combat worry, fear, anxiety, and panic. I got all these from, I want to say Pinterest, but who I am in Christ right now, I can't remember where I got that one from. I think I got it from an uh, insert years ago from my church that I used to go to when I first got saved. 10 tips to overcome negative thoughts. Seven Psalms to calm anxiety. And that's all I have for now. And um, these are the little Hobonichi um, inserts that come three. So you can easily put one in here and they're a little smaller than the weeks. And that's perfect because they're supposed to be used in there. I know um, I have another one here that is for prayer. And I switched the tabs to the top because they were um, and I decided to put the book from the, I moved it from the back to the front because it's prayer. And I want that, you know, before my eyes. So it says be joyful in hope patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. And I thought that went perfectly. And this is for my family. So aside from my prayer tracker that I have in my Hobonichi cousin, which I'll show you in a minute, these are just extras. So if I, my husband's talking or my children, whatever is going on, that aside from that, this is where I would put that. Yeah, Northridge Church is the one that has the fully awake um, if you go to the playlist section of their YouTube channel. So that's that. So as when I'm done with this, and then this I just put right here. And then I bring out my Hobonichi cousin. So the rest of this says prayer tracker, which is in here. Scripture study is in here and gratitude. And then extra are sermons, reading, and then journal to the Lord. So this is a Carpe DM cover, if you recognize this. I have not shown this before on, on this channel. I don't I don't think so, but I had my husband de-ring it. And then I just put some paper. And what I did here was for the March Bible study. This is her Bible study color code system. Um, and I just have an InTouch, an older one, 2018, um, that I found. I don't know why I stopped receiving these. These are just extra prayer trackers for the rest of the year. Um, but I stopped receiving this. And then I found this one. And this one is Develop Spiritual Discernment um, to Guard Against Deception. So I thought, and this is March of 2018. I still have a stack of these that I have not read. So um, I put it in here in case that I want to, you know, extra reading 
so okay you've seen this before and if you have not seen you know uh i would try to go through most of it quickly um, i will tag my um my first video on this in case you want a thorough explanation of everything but if you have questions by all means leave them below these are just keep growing i have a piece of acetate here and then i moved my um Old Testament and uh, Bible reading plan up here by the calendar just because I want to keep it separate. I don't use this for anything. I just decorated it. This here, I changed it up a bit. So I started off with scripture writing and this was the plan. And because I follow Heather's um, Bible study plan now, I also wrote this down in my week's. in my month here you know because i moved this tab um as i'm studying but i also wrote it here i know that's redundant but that's just the way i do it and then here um i wrote you know i left saturday and sundays blank because she usually has saturdays for journal day and then sundays for sermons and i started doing it here and it's kind of like an index. So on Saturday and Sundays, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, Sundays is mainly a sermon, um, but I like to put the topic. So what I've been doing on Saturdays is listening to Joyce Meyer. She has a uh, uh, YouTube video uh, sermons on the mouth. And so she does one last week and then number two was this week. So I've been doing that on Saturdays. And so it's just a little index to let me know. And then here I started writing my sermon for um, uh, Wide Awake. Number three was Listen, and then I'll just continue with that. Even though this was recorded back in January because I'm catching up, um, that's perfectly okay. Um, but I have, you know, Aware, and then the name of each week's theme. And the month theme for Heather's is Beauty for Ashes. So it's a... It's going to be a good study, so you can check her website out and sign up for that. Um, this is I Declare. These are my affirmations. I have those in here. I usually put those in my planner. Um, this is my prayer tracker that I was mentioned for my family um, and my gratitude. This is January's. This is my, I covered all my prayers because they're private. And then friends and social media, anyone else is on the side. And that's my um, gratitude I had just today. These are affirmations that uh, Heather includes in her studies. And then this is my tracker down here. As you can see, the Bible reading, I'll show you in a minute. That, because I study so much every day, um, and I've really been enjoying the studies, you know, like studying a scripture that the Bible reading has sort of fallen by the wayside just because there's just so much transition that um, I've been focusing on studying and praying and, and just getting into the rhythm of this new study that I, I don't like to force Bible reading. Um, I will continue it. But for now, I am trying to get into transition of a new rhythm and then introduce it again. So this is March. And my affirmations that I want to focus on for the month will be here. That just means in the morning during my affirmation time, I will just, you know, kind of pray these out or throughout the day. Um, and then I move my tracker here on the side. So I, I went through my morning routine and it's okay, what is it that I want to track? So I have my morning pages, my quiet time. So basically everything that was, you know, on here, I just summarized it here and then I can check it off. Here's my prayer tracker. This is specific to my family. So I, this is where I track, you know, check it off for prayer. And then here I write their like specific request or things that I feel that I need to pray. Like for my husband, I need to pray for our marriage. I need to pray for him for protection, for discernment, for provision, 
for favor. You know, those are the kind of things I pray. And then I go down the line. So down here, I pray for, you know, family members, um, prayer requests, Christian friends, and any additional prayer requests, but non-Christian friends, Christian leaders, missionaries, my, my church, our nation and world. So before I had the prayer request here, that worked in my other setup, but what I'm finding is when I write something here and it's written here, this folds this way. And so it's kind of hard. So I have to flip like this for to go through the prayers. So I decided to write them here. So how it goes out there and then continue because I can easily pull this out. The reason is when April comes, I can just pull this and have anything there and there, if there's more I can pray like that and as the months go by I can pull them all out and just anything that God has not answered and that I'm still praying for it makes it easy then going like this you know if that makes any sense so anyway um and then of course this is gratitude and that will stay as is I'm really enjoying the Hobonichi cousin uh and uh, my weeks together it's just flowing really, really well. Here, as you can see, I stopped my Bible reading uh, February like the 13th. And the way I was doing it is um, online. It gives you a free summary of each chapter. And that's what I was doing. I was rewriting this just chapter summaries. And then I would read my, you know, the Bible on the audio because it goes it's just much faster. I read at a slower pace because I start looking at words and highlighting and, um, and I, this is just reading, not studying. And so I'm trying to break of that habit. Um, but I will continue with this, uh, just not right now. So this is the currently for my faith section in February. And this is just a confession of who I am in Christ. That's what I want to focus on. So I kind of, um, look at that. Um, in the mornings, along with my monthly section where I have my affirmations, uh, trusting God in, rejoicing in, and then I added uh, studying. So I, what I want to, what, what am I studying on a month to month basis? I did not have that. So um, I just added that to here, you know, what am I learning patience with, uh, what I need extra help in. So just what a summary of myself and my faith. So, you know, months or years later, I can look back and see how I've grown. So just a piece of acetate. So here is just, um, I was doing scripture study and here I'll just kind of go kind of quickly. And then one thing that stood out on my, in my, on my heart. Um, and I just try to practice my hand lettering just a little bit. Um, and so I did it, you know, my scripture studies it differently. And then I just added some stickers to add in some white space. Uh, my color coding system um, is blue for promises of God or scripture. Orange is um, um, obeying something actionable. Um, purple, of course, is God. Anything red is important. Yellow is just general information. Pink is um, specific information that's important to me. And then anything brown is, you know, sin or anything like that. Um so here I started, where did I start? Okay, so this is just scripture, just regular scripture writing. I would write notes from my life application Bible. If there was anything that I read online when I was studying that specific scripture and, you know, write a summary of what stood out to me. So I can go back and just read this and I can tell what this was about. So here I started, let's see, was when I started the Bible study for um by heather baxter and this is a week so i always write the what the theme is on top and then what stood out to me okay and generally i do the bible study first she has videos on her youtube um she also studies and then shares like a teaching and so what i do is i always study first in the morning and then I come back and then I add her notes. And generally her notes are either at the breast of the, you know, if I have space here and then I finish it there. Or um, I think here, yeah, I had extra space. So I just wrote a little prayer there. So I always fill up because I always have things to write and, and say. Um, 
so here she was talking about the five Christian crowns, be a conduit for God. You know, just what stood out to me from my studies. Um, and so if I need extra, I just put a post-it there. Here was a journaling page. I didn't know what, um, what I should journal that day. And so I just kind of left a blank. And then I did not listen to a sermon here. Um, and if they're blank, that's okay. Because I will always go back if I need extra room. Because I have an index here, I will know what these pages are for. So for now, they're blank. This is uh, um, the word action. So we studied on that for the week. And then I tried to put a sticker based on what she was talking about, which was, you know, being transformed like a butterfly. Um, and so, see, I can read these and kind of know what this was about what it means to me and probably no one else could have <laughs> read this um but again this this was action week and then on friday she has a a live and then she does i do my study and then you know we do the study with her and so that was just tip that in uh she did a uh she mentioned about the sunflower and you know i can grow unless i'm in the sun the s-o-n so that's what stood out to me um here again is a blank journal page and then here was blank it was a sermon page so i used it for joyce meyer of uh, the mouth i'm trying to keep most of everything in mind in here you know because everything's together versus my sermon insert that you saw in my um instead of this one oopsie instead of this one so that's just for extra but i like to keep all my notes in one so this is abide we just had this this past week put off and put on we have to spin kind of like wonder woman and you know put off the flesh and put on the spirit every day um, it's a really good study. So if you if you um, want to join, please check her out. And this is again um, my notes, and then she taught. And again my notes, and then she taught. And then here, this is Joyce Meyer, um, the second um, sermon or preaching that she did. I had a lot of white space here, so I just put this sticker here. It's fierce. That's from the. Um, hot buys those crafts let me see that's from these craft smart um, hot buys you buy find at michael's and so i just thought fierce and she looked like she was ready to start with her coffee her bag to get started <laughs> and this is live amazed that was from joyce meyer um and then here i today's sermon is from the northridge church and that is um the wide awake series again this is on their youtube channel this was listen and i needed some more space so i tipped it in and it was a great just a great um sermon so i this is for march this is my setup and since she was doing a teaching on sunflowers i thought this was appropriate i found this in my stash i even forgot i have this this is my currently, so I have my confession, who I am in Christ. So here is um, my currently for the month. And I'll, you know, um, write things in as they come up. And that's it. Um, that's, you know, and I'll keep on doing my pages um, like I've been doing here. And I'll be following the this one which is beauty for ashes. So this week is a grace week and is aware. Um, and she'll be doing extra videos on creating your space, prayer, reading and showing her routine. Um, and then the kickoff starts here, which is March 8th. And the first week is a torn heart. Where is God? Wisdom gained. And then beautiful. And it goes into the next. I have not decorated this yet. So it's going to be a good great teaching i'm looking forward to it um that's what this looks like and that's it and i'm really enjoying how this is all flowing in terms of how i'm using you know my my weeks along with my cousin 
when I'm praying, I did want to show my prayer journals here quickly. I have shown this um, on my YouTube channel. I will link it below. I have a faith playlist if you want to look through there. But this is, you know, specific prayers. Sometimes I just need guided prayers. And I use this for my family and myself and my friends. And if I don't want to use a pocket size, then I use... Let me take this to the side. Then I use my personal size. This is a Franklin Covey um, Ava. And I just have it decorated. And again, this is almost the same thing. I have more in my pocket, but it's guided prayers for myself, praise, my husband, my marriage, my children, my grandchildren, um, and just, you know, information there that... Again, these are all tools that I use to help with my walk with the Lord. Plus, I have fun putting them together, but sometimes I have a, you know, want to use that or sometimes I'll use this. But that's all I have. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I will link everything I can below so you can check um, Heather's um, website or my previous videos. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. So you can get notifications of all my future videos. And thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time.